I'm still working my way through through the through the tweets. I, th I'm, I hope this link's going to work. Uh, I've just clicked on. Yes, that's that's all right. Learn Exeter. It's um. I well, I I, I just haven't been able to find it, um, or I haven't found it until very recently, in just this week really. Um, I I got confused after this Times Higher Education event in Exeter. What was a digital university and what was an online university? Because the the conference was about digital, and yet they're launching a a um, a, a table, a, a a listing from you know like a like a like a pop parade um, of. Probably, probably about 200. To, no, nobody knows, I don't think, how many there's going to be. But l later this year, th there is going to be a, a, a listing, a, a, similar to the other ones they do, about online universities. And Exeter seems... seem. It, or, I'd got the impression it was more, more looking at it from a, a digital university point of view. That's to say using digital technology on, on one site, or in Exeter's case, there's, there's several sites, including some in Cornwall, but essentially on a campus, not necessarily move, moving things on online. Um, but I, I'm not right about this. I've, I've discovered... If you go... Well, if, if, you, if you're not following the link, if you're not into it, if you want to find this, you need to go to... Um, I know on this, yeah, LXI, you've got to go to exeter.ac.uk, departments, LXI, learning and experience, digital learning. Well, that, I think you can probably get to learn Exeter quicker than this, but this is this is one way into it. And it also has, um, well, it starts with digital learning support. So that would be support for people on the campus and then the learning design team and learning development team. But then there's a centre for online. And that, I think, is at the business school. I don't, I don't, I'm not getting the impression that the St. Luke's space is very much for online or digital. But then there is the, the, STEM, the STEAM event, uh, which is... Mostly, it's, it's usually at, at uh, St. Luke's, but they're, they're going to be at the forum on the other campus um, on next Wednesday. So, whereabouts all this? All, uh, it may, it may, may seem odd that I'm interested in exactly where it is um, for an online thing, but actually I'm, I do think it's, it's, um, it's interesting um, which, which bit of the city of Exeter is is um, relating to any of this but anyway then you get to learn Exeter at the at the bottom and when you click on it it turns out that they they have got a direct link if you if you try and search for learn Exeter you probably will find it I'll, I'll, I'll get the I'll try and get a, a better way of finding it late, later on um, it's externally facing learning environment, so it's it, in itself. I don't think it's directly offering degrees, but it's offering MOOCs. And I've I've t I've started to do um, a couple of them. One one is about um, climate science, and one is building your career in tomorrow's workplace. Which has got a lot of information. I've only I've only just started both of them. I only found it yesterday, um, and the the one about tomorrow's workplace has got a lot about lifelong learning and digital transformation and those 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 sorts of things. So it's um, it it's very relevant to how the situation of of universities might might change over over time. I, don't, I just don't understand really why, why it's taken me so long to find this Learn Exeter or why they've decided to concentrate on their own platform. They, 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 
they did put several MOOCs on FutureLearn, um, but presumably they're not doing that. I don't know. If anybody, if anybody knows um, how this all came about, oh, I think learn.exeter.ac.uk will find them. I think that's a direct way in. And you you basically have to have to register before you can discover what's available in a in a roundabout sort of way. You can't you can't get much information about them until you've got an ID. But there's a lot there's a lot of stuff there. So if any if anybody's got got information about it, um, tweet to W E N O T N O during during this show between between now and about quarter t- to twelve. Or else will seven eight nine GB any any other time, and um, I'll I'll try and find out a bit more about about the climate climate science one and the building your career one. Um, the, there's there's all all sorts of stuff about climate, but it's not always easy to to find or to work with. I'd, I'd say that's the other thing I would mention it, it, is the, the the storytelling, for example. If it if it was all Creative Commons, it would be a lot easier to use it for broadcast. But there is there is quite a lot of um, well, there, there, there's there's a massive amount of content that the university is producing. It's just not not always easy easy to find um, or to broadcast. I'm repeating myself. Have I got? A, I've got a track over there. I shall press this button. 